welcome back to my channel it's ongoing here and if you're new to my channel i create content around cooking and cleaning i also do hauls and a day in the life blogs today's vlog is a farm vlog as you can see i'm home i'm at my parents house and i came here yesterday so i'll be spending the entire sunday here so i thought of doing a vlog for you guys because you love these ones so yeah so the vlog starts now it's currently 7 a.m sunday morning i'm just about to start working before we head on to church then come back cook clean everything that we need to do here so yeah so i hope you enjoy the vlog and if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't so let's go So while the tea was boiling, I went ahead to organize the kitchen. Usually we leave everything here the previous night after having dinner. So in the morning it's quite messy and needs a bit of organization. So after breakfast I usually don't have much to do at the farm so this day I thought of helping my dad feed the chickens water so I was going to fill up the buckets with water and he was going to carry them to the chicken scoop. At this time my sister was doing the dishes just after the dairy run. Tell me who to call if it ain't you. 
Well at it, my little honey bunny niece came to say hi to me. I hadn't seen her all morning and so she was up and ready to go to church by thought of coming to say hi to her favorite auntie. Hey guys, so I just finished helping dad with the chicken's water and I've just done a little bit of cleaning up and sweeping so I want to get ready. I've also had breakfast so I want to go shower and get ready because we are about to go to church. It's 8 a.m. and we need to be at church by 9 a.m. and four of us need to shower so I need to rush, go shower and then get ready then I will see you when we are going to church or when I am still getting ready. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the vlog. I hope you are and if you are, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Okay? Yeah, so let me go shower. Sunday mornings are quite a hassle for us because our farm worker doesn't come to work on Sundays so everyone is busy well apart from me so I am usually the one that gets ready first and I love getting ready here at the veranda the light here is amazing and I can see uh, everything I am doing to my face and my hair so yeah it was time to get ready and this was around 8 8 30 a.m everyone was busy but yeah we needed to head on to chat So when I go home or anytime I leave my place, I pack my skincare routine products in small containers, travel size containers so that I don't have to carry the entire bottle. If you would love to see my skincare routine, leave a comment down below and I will do one for you.
when I lived at home, I always polished my dad's shoes before church and so this brought so many memories of that time when I used to stay at home and it was just the three of us. The church service ended at 11 a.m. and right after we walked to my grandma's house, we always try and go and say hi to her when we are home because the rest of the week or rather the rest of the month we don't see her and when I say grandma, I am talking about my mother's mom. So every Sunday, mom packs some milk for my grandma to last her the entire week. So dad brought the milk and of course we had to make tea as usual. No one goes to their grandmother's house and leaves with an empty stomach. So I made some tea and served us all, my dad, my sister, my cousin was there, my grandmother was there and her helper. So we needed to empty the bottles of milk so that we could carry them home for the next time mom needed to bring grandma milk. We are 
from church and I needed to go look for a charger, a type C charger because I left mine. So my phone is almost dying, but thank goodness there was someone with this type of charger. We're home and I will talk to you guys as we proceed, right? Yeah. Cold sweats in the middle of the night and flashbacks of you and I in your sweats. How'd you make me feel so? fire is on Whew. I'm burning some plastic so that it doesn't go off so I need to heat up some water to because we are doing chicken today yeah and here's the pot to heat up the water so how did I do on the fire let me know down in the comments section So my other grandmother now Wangoi made us some porridge and so yeah I'm going to have some porridge so she usually does this every Sunday every Sunday she makes us porridge so when we come from church we always have something to drink before you know we start on the chores yeah this is a really nice gesture and I love her so much for doing this for us so yeah so I'm gonna have my porridge then now start on the chores yeah Raindrop on the black top, hot stuff, feeling like a robot. Swipe left, scroll down, same chick, but you're living in a new town. I'm all the issue, I'm the original. Cute face, but you got no taste, wouldn't trade it for its weight and go. One of these days. While having lunch, mom joined us and we were beating stories. What other way to catch up with your mom other than while having a delicious plate of stew and chapati? Reputations on the line. I've been defending you from rumors that are spreading, so don't hang me up 
After lunch, I took it upon myself to clean mom's fridge. It wasn't so dirty, but I needed to stock up on the new fresh vegetables she had bought the previous day. So I cleaned her fridge and organized it for her. Baby boy, you've grown so much. Bob. Sasa, sweetie. Sasa. Bob. So I came to see the girls. Here they are. This is Kadogo. This is... What's your name, baby girl? This is Wangeshi. This is... Guy, I forgot her. What's your name? Oh, this is Kamori. This is Wangeshi. And then there is Nyamwero. There is Marcy over there. There is Liz over there. Oh my god, there are so many. I forgot them. Oh, now I remember. That is Marcy. This is Liz. This is Liz. And then this is Nyameni. Beautiful girls. Hey, girls. You eating? You eating? Hi, baby girls. So mom just milked these three. These three are adult cows and they have babies. Those babies I've shown you over there. So after milking, they eat some feeds with some, of course, nutrients to replenish the milk and all. So all this is, uh, we call it syringe, but it's uh, napier grass mixed with molasses and then it's fermented in these bags. So this is storage for the cows, of course, when the season is like dry and there isn't enough napier grass in the shamba, they can have this. So we have this here and there is more back at the house. So yeah. They two cows. Kamari. Mangashi. Baby girl. Kadaga. Sweetie. Hi. Hi. Nyamwero. Nyamwero. When you can just kiss me with your mouth. I don't need to try and pass the time. Because it's already flying by. After hanging out with the cows, it was time to take the milk to the dairy.
my sister and I went to see the tomato farm. We wanted to see how far they had grown and also came to pick some capsicums and eggplants to carry back home. Most times when I go home, mom asks me to do her hair. She has white hair almost on her full head, so she loves to dye it. And how cute, how cute is her hair. You've got your hands around my throat You've got me in over my head I'm drowning in the undertow I've got my so while we were doing the hair, my dad was slaughtering the chickens and right after I needed to start cooking them So I lit the fire and put them on the fire to boil doing Tommy 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 is barking anyway so I'm in the chicken coop one of the empty ones where we store like animal feeds and dad also stores his tomatoes here after harvesting so I came to get some tomatoes for us for my sister and I because we are about to start packing but before I do that I need to go and finish making the chicken so yeah so it's on the fire cooking so I thought of coming and getting the tomatoes so we can start packing. Let me tell you guys, I am so tired, so, so tired. We've done so much today. Mm, my skin is popping. He loves this weather. It's so bright, so, so bright. So let me go. Let me go finish cooking. My sister is mopping the house. I need to sweep the compound and I need to pack eggs for myself. Every time it's healing, can't deny the pain But gotta love the feeling how Are you gonna save me now? You've got me upside up You've got your hands around my throat You've got me in over my head I'm drowning in the undertow I've got my fingers crossed I'm begging, begging this captivating touch that's got me coming back for more Found 
matoke too. So yeah, I'm carrying matoke home. So I need to get a bunch from here to carry home and make some lovely, lovely matoke. Every time I go home, I carry at least two trays of eggs to last me and my partner the entire month. Before we leave, we always make sure we leave the house and the compound clean. So while I was sweeping, my sister was cleaning the dishes and also organizing the kitchen. I'm not a therapist, but that's no way to move along. Tell me, what is your plan for fighting liberation, babe? I wait, but I think you owe yourself an explanation. My heart is an ocean filled with complex emotion. I don't have magic potion, baby. But have you ever been in love? Love. Don't stop your crying, baby. I wanna be the one to wipe your tears. I got home quite late, it was some few minutes to 9 p.m. So I brought some matoke and some eggplants. I also came back with some tomatoes and eggs. 
I carried anything that I could find there because guys as you know life in Nairobi is quite expensive so yeah if you can find anything to carry from home please do so I got my two trays of eggs and I also carried some cooked chicken for our dinner because there was no way I was going to cook that night I was so tired so I needed to have dinner so chapati matoke eggplants some tomatoes, eggs, a pineapple, name it. I got so much from home. So that is all I had for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the farm vlog and if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, share with your friends, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, subscribe if you haven't and turn on the post notifications. I really hope you did enjoy the farm vlog. Until next time guys, bye!